What's up nerds and have I got a story for you. Now also down below you'll find the articles that I'm going to be reading you uh, to do this video and you can read them for yourself or just watch this video where I'm basically just read the whole article to you. Also I want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe and I thank you in advance. Alright, now that we got that business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started. And this has to play with the other story that I did and that is that uh, they found their century over at the MCU now. There was some rumblings going on that they were looking at Lewis Pullman uh, for, for, uh, for century and i they they've they've uh cast him as century it looks like and so good for him on all that nonsense there's a lot of stuff going on i uh i just i just if you don't know that's the bill pullman's son and he was the president in independence day uh if you saw that and everything uh good movie okay so let's read this article and he's playing century and i want to talk about this because it looks like they're going for a skinnier century uh which i just go uh why uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's what it says about, about this century situation. So this is from Deadline, my favorite. So it says, Lewis Pullman is the top choice to replace Steven Yoon in Marvel Studios' Thunderbolt. Sources confirmed to Deadline. If a deal closes, he would star opposite Florence Pugh, David Harbour, Sebastian Stan, and Wyatt Russell, previously announced as the main ensemble in the pick during the D23 in 2022. That was like so far long ago. Oh, there's hey, Steven Yoon. That was so long ago, 2022. You guys remember 2022? Uh, not so better times. <laughs> Anyways, so it says Deadline broke the Yoon that Yoon had been a part of the Thunderbolts cast, but had to back out after production was pushed back, be pushed because of the WGA and SAG after strikes, creating a scheduling issues for the recent Beef Emmy winner. Um, and so it says uh, J Jack Schaefer is set to direct in the new Marvel tentpole. Black Widow scribe Eric Pearson is penning the script, which again makes me nervous. I'm not really a huge fan of Jack Schaefer and uh, the the writer for the Black Widow. I'm sorry, Black Widow sucked, you guys. I, I mean, I don't know anybody that liked that movie. And I'm not judging you if you did like that movie, but that movie wasn't good, you guys. I mean, like, there was some good parts about it, but it, overall, it wasn't good. We just have to be honest with ourselves. It was bad. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. So, oopsie. Okay, so Kevin Feige producing. Not much is known about the plot of the film, but the comics revolve around a group of villains who are sent on missions commissioned by uh, by the government, which is true. They they do the they do the jobs that the Avengers can't do. Like I've said before, they do the jobs that the Avengers can't do, but they're not like the Suicide Squad. They're not. They're just they're they're totally different. Uh, you know, they're fun and everything, but, uh, yeah, they're villains, they're villains doing, uh, Avengers jobs that are a little, a little messy sometimes. And, and, you know, villains, they don't give a shit, so they'll, they'll just, they'll kill somebody and just be like, sorry. Um, so, uh, what, okay, so what do we think about this overall? All right, I have to be honest with you, I think this is a better choice, and this is why I think this is a better choice. So, I just, so what do I think about this? I think that this is a good choice. I like this Pullman kid. He's, he's super adorable. He's super cute and everything. But it looks like, you know, from, you know, he's, his, 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 his he's, he's most recently known for Top Gun Maverick, okay? Which he had glasses there. And then he also appeared in uh, Lessons um, in Chemistry with Brie Larson, which I didn't see that, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. And then he also appeared, uh, and he's gaining a lot of attention through the award circuit this season. Now, uh, he's on the skinnier side, and I think that the the fitting the desired um, aesthetic for some reason, is this, like, skinny dude of Sentry. And I personally don't like that. He, he's going to have to beef up. I don't know if B, Steven Yoon was going to have to beef up, but I just really wish that they would uh, they would do that because I think that there are some concerns being raised by the decision to cast a skinny Sentry. And I think that some fans will be puzzled by Marvel's departure from the more comics-accurate uh, depiction of the character. And I think that... The secrecy around the casting, particularly Sentry, is, you know, is, is a question that people, a lot of, uh, you know, people are questioning about Marvel's decision to make 
decisions on casting. And we'll see. I mean, and despite the initial concerns of, um, I think that there's still anticipation for this movie. And it will be interesting to see the audience's uh, like current level of excitement for Thunderbolts. Me personally, I am not excited with this movie. I just think that, I think that they've, they've made their decision. I think this is a, a good decision, you know, a good replacement. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where this movie goes from here. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you guys feel about Lewis Palman taking over uh, Steven Yoon as the Sentry? Uh, do you think this is a good casting choice? Do you think that he's going to do a great job? You know, how do you feel about uh, how do you feel about Sentry as a character? I think he's just okay. I mean, like to have him in Thunderbolts, I'm like, okay. I'm like, he's not a staple there, but whatever, it's fine. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. I a small piece of me thinks that this Thunderbolts movie is going to be a train wreck. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Marvel's learned their lesson. Not one bit, and I think that we're gonna see it. But we'll see. They've got a whole. They, it's it's a nightmare over there at Marvel. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. All right, you guys. So that's all I got for you this week. Tell me what you guys think about this week's stories. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know I won't mind if you tune to my channel. Please that yeah that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.